Welcome to another edition of RHC's Commentaries. As always, I am the one and only RHC Revolution Hell Cowboy. And for those of you who don't know what these commentaries are about, it's just me going back and watching some of my older videos from 2011, 2012, and maybe very early 2013, back when I still used my old iPod Touch for my uh, videos before I switched to the digital camcorder that I am using now. So that's most of what you're going to see commentaries of, and I'm not going to explain anymore because I've already done that in the last couple of videos. So you should, if you've been watching my commentaries, you should already know what they're about. If not, you know, best way I can describe it, it's kind of like, for those of you who don't know what a commentary is, you know, think of a commentary on a DVD of a, like a director's commentary or a cast member commentary. You know, just the best way to describe it. Just thought I'd get that out of the way real quick. Okay, so the intro of this video, I'm actually going to probably do more than one video here. Because this is a short-lived review series I did, and it's not that I didn't like this series, it's just, well, this series was not about me, it was about a little buddy of mine, you know, my little nephew, Isaac, um, or aka the Iceman, as I like to call him. Um, and I, I don't always get to see my nephew all that much, because he's growing up. At the time I did these reviews with him, he was four, uh, five years old. So, I'll say now, um, he's he's older, he's like seven now, because these videos were done back in the end of 2011. Um, excuse me, I'm 2012, I mean, I did a video with him in 2011, though, but that one I'll do in a future commentary. But, um, anyways, this video, I'm not going to poke fun at my nephew, because, you know, he, he's a little kid, you know, he's going to say stuff at random. I'm going to probably more just say, you know, I don't know, just probably poke a little more fun at myself, maybe more, not so much myself, maybe just the video in general, I may just point a few things out. This is back when I was living with my mom, my sister, and my nephew would be there, my niece. And, and I don't know, as much as I'm glad I moved out, I'm out, I'm out of my own again. I do kind of miss living at this place I was at. But, you know, this place wasn't really the best, and I'll explain that in the video. Because you'll we'll probably see a lot of mistakes. I mean, just in general. But anyways, um, let's get into the commentary. So I'm going to play. So you, you see this is a short video, so I'll try not to make this commentary any longer than it is, but that's why I'll try to do at least maybe, I don't know, there, there's four reviews in total that I did with my nephew, so maybe I'll try to fit them all in this video and maybe not go any longer than 25, 30 minutes. I, I hope. We'll, we'll try. Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? This is Revolution Cowboy. This is my nephew Isaac, and he's going to do a little review. Isaac, tell everybody about the figure you're holding. Uh, but I don't know. I just like my favorite Power Rangers. Okay, well, tell him what color it is. Oh, God, I gotta love Isaac. He loves his favorite Power Rangers. I mean, he, he loves Power Rangers, so I'm glad that my nephew is... He's like me in a way. He likes Power Rangers. I don't, I don't know what his dad was into. I think his dad was more into Star Wars. Uh, um, his my sister, One of my sister's ex-boyfriends at the time. Um, I'm not gonna go too much detail, but it's good to see that you know, somebody in my family likes Power Rangers. <laughs> it is really black. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like a silver, but kind of like not. Uh, it's black and there's some gold on it. Well, yeah, of course. I, I was trying to give my nephew crap. I knew my nephew's not gonna know every color, so don't think I'm being hard on my nephew. It's just I'm trying to help him out a little with the review. I mean, he's, he he does pretty good in this review, so... You know, I mean, yeah, keep in mind, he was four, almost five years old at the time of this video, so he's not going to get every single thing right, you know. And, you know, he's, he's just a little kid. But I try my best to help him out on the way in this video. And it had some gold on it. And gold. Can you say gold? Gold. Eh, he, he can say it as best he can, you know. Once again, he's a little kid. I've, like I guess I'm just trying to help him out, so, yeah. And... It kind of had some, uh, like some gold. There's some gold silver, that's right. Silver. That's, on the, that's on the belt. You got the belt backwards. Yeah. <laughs> you got the belt backwards. <laughs> and so, this is where about all the, all the oh, shoot, his head doesn't move all the it. Ninja Turtles, all the Ninja Turtles. There's no Ninja <laughs> All the Ninja Turtles. I, I love my nephew. It's just, it's so cute because, you know, he still was young at the time, you know. So he's still, you know, he's already hasn't been learned to talk since the age of two, but, you know, he's not going to get every word right. And I'm sure at, at when I was that age, I was getting words wrong, too, but I wasn't very vocal at at that age. Well, then, you know, he, I don't know, even though he's my nephew, he kind of, in a way, takes after me, but I found that his father was kind of similar to the way I am. Kind of quiet when he was younger, 
kind of shy, so, but, I don't know, I, I see a lot of myself and my nephew. Um, Shows us about the Power Ranger. Now, show everybody what the Power Ranger does. <laughs> and so, uh, 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 kick, 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 kick. <laughs> Alrighty. I do it. Alrighty. And ready for everybody, look at C's, <laughs> car luck. And your luck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe when he's doing Power says it's from Dino Thunder. It's yeah. Tom. Oh, God. Yeah. Isaac's so cute. And so we're going to have an action, Power Ranger. <laughs> all right. we're going to be in it. <laughs> okay, guys. That's all for this review. Thanks for watching. Rock yeah. on. Yeah. Isaac, what's your final words? Uh, Bobby, Power Rangers, look up! <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay. All right. Later, everybody. Yeah, later. You're gonna be oh, hot. Of course. And you're gonna be <laughs> okay. rough. Later. Mmm. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh man, I I I love watching that. And this was probably one of the better episodes of Iceman reviews because I don't know, I just you know he did pretty good in the review. It was a, it was a simple review. The figure didn't really do much. I uh bought the figure. Actually, it was one of my figures. I bought at the flea market. I later let my nephew have it. I don't know what he's done with it, and that's that's all right. It I didn't have any of the weapons for it. I mean, and all it did was that, that little action where he just moved his arm. So it wasn't really a, a great figure that could be posed a whole lot. But, you know, it was, it was meant for kids. Um, so, you know, my nephew tried to plug a show. If you you couldn't hear, that's why I tried my best not to talk over him, you know. Mostly, you know, just it was a quick, simple, to-the-point review. Now, the next one I'm going to get into is Eyes Matter Reviews number 2, which he actually had one of his Power Rangers Samurai figures over. This video, not a bad one, but you will see that this video was probably no better. Now, yeah, quick note, I'm, you know, I was using my iPod at the time, and I'm actually looking into my iPod, you know, so, so if it kind of looks kind of goofy a little bit, I don't know. I mean, in later ones, I actually kind of have an iPod looking just at Isaac. I, I know it's kind of hard to explain. Like, let's go, use my phone as an example. You know, here's my phone. You know, we're looking at the phone instead of, you know, having, you know, the camera point at him, you know. It, it's easier so I can see myself while seeing him. I don't know, that's just how I did the time. Alright, so I'm going to get into Iceman Reviews number two. So like I said, this one's probably, uh, I mean, it, it's still in good fun, but it's probably not a whole lot better. So I'm going to, there's a little, I thought there was an annotation, but since the video already stopped, I'm going to, there's a, you know, suggestion for the video, so I'm going to click on it real quick. Alright, here we go. Hey, guys and gals, RHC, Rebel Shell Cowboy here, back with a review with... Oh, uh, that probably wasn't my better intro. I looked kind of, I don't know, like, hey, everybody, R.E.C. here. Like, I don't know. That just seemed kind of weird in my opinion. Okay, well, let's get back into the review. With my special guest reviewer, Isaac, the Iceman. Yeah, and, Sean, and I'm a superhero Iceman. Right, superhero Iceman. Superhero Iceman. <laughs> uh, Pirate Ranger Blue, his swords are... He's from Samurai. Samurai, <laughs> and that's silver. His hands are black. He's got... You say he has silver on his mm -hmm. on his gloves? Yeah, and it's on his elbows. <laughs> and on his Alright, show by the face. face. This his is face. his face. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I was trying my best to imitate, you know, Grimm slash Ebenezer Middlesdorf, you know, because I had just started watching Grimm's, you know, toy show back then, but so yeah. Just trying my best to help Isaac out, you know, because he you know, he's not gonna stay focused on the review. He's a little kid. You know, he's just trying to do it the best he can, so he's kinda of messing around a little. <laughs> But, you know, hey, you know, he's a little four or five year old kid at the time, you know, and I'm sure he still acts this way now as seven, though. I mean, yeah, he's a little older now. He probably can do, you know, probably focus a little better now than he could when he was four or five years old. But still, you know, hey, he's a little kid, so, I mean, once again, don't anyone get mad that I'm giving my nephew a hard time this way. I'm trying my best to help him out, so if you hear any frustration in myself back then, you know, it's not me trying to be frustrated. It's just me trying to help Isaac out in the review a little bit. And that's black, and that's silver, and, and that's all. Well, he does something special. Yeah. What does he do, Isaac? He can't turn his head. All right, now you did too fast. Oh, you got, like, well, of course he's got to do it too on. fast. He's a little kid. Right, he's right, too slow. <laughs> see? Look, he got his ninja head on. Yeah, and see? All right, so now let's show everybody what the button is. There's a button back here you got to press, and you do that, and he, his head flips back and forth. Kind of like the power that we had back when I was a kid. Uh, grab one and show awkward you know, silence, I guess. See? So, um, and then, okay, and then, yeah, this this wasn't the best. Where I had my hand on the iPod for a while, and you don't, yeah, and you see, there's annotation. I didn't. First of all, let me introduce you a friend of our show here, Stokely, Isaac's little sister. 
Okay, so, alright, dude, I hope you guys can see her. Let me yeah. see if she'll move around a little bit more. Oh. So right there, okay, so it, I'm moving the iPod too fast, so that's my niece, if you guys haven't seen her before, yeah, she hasn't been around a lot, I'm not gonna mention a whole lot of my personal life here in this video, things have kind of been kind of rough the last few years, but I'm not gonna get too much into that, but I, I'm hoping to see my niece here at Christmas time, you know, since I'm, you know, doing this, you know, with a few days left until the holiday, so I guess we'll see, hopefully she'll, she'll show up a little better. <laughs> and of course, if you look at my room, man, how my collection has changed from where I'm at now to where I was, you know, a couple of years ago. Let's see if I can give you guys another glimpse of the familiar. collection. All right, so there's a little more of the glimpse of the collection, man. I mean, you don't even see all my Mattel figures. Well, they're on another wall, obviously. They're on the wall that's you might have, you might have seen some of my Mattel, you know, older Mattel figures in maybe a previous shot. So I'm gonna try to go forward with the video. Y'all, it should because remember these. Go, go, Power Rangers! Do the same thing, except for this one's not as easy. You have to oh, see, there's some of my loose figures, so, yeah. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not focusing so much on you. I thought I'd maybe kind of give you guys this little trip down memory lane. Kind of show you what my collection was kind of like back when I was living at my mom's house. Before I moved to where I'm at now, so. I had a very, you know, a little bit smaller loose collection. So, you might see a glimpse of it, you know, you know, every now and then in these videos. So let's see how much more you guys can see of it before I, you know, we get more back into the Eyes Man review. Which, by this point, we're done reviewing the Samurai toy, and I'm kind of shut off my old Mighty Morphin toys. Put the head back, like this. So, oh, uh, okay. Sitting by the way. Well, okay. I thought I could pause a little more. I guess because the iPod's quality is not great. I'm moving around a lot. I thought I could show you guys a little bit of my loose collection. There will be an review coming up pretty soon. Just don't know when. <laughs> oh god, Isaac put this part in the view. So, yeah, this is why you should not do reviews with an iPod. At least make sure you have both hands free. I'm glad nowadays I have a camcorder, so... You know, and I've, and I've since done a proper review of these figures. If you guys haven't seen my reviews, I already see reviews number 20. I'm gonna give you a, a free plug. Feel free to go back and look for it, because I'm not gonna put a link to it, but... I will put a link in the description to all four of these videos you will see, along with my previous commentaries. So let's get back to this. Here's the old, the first Blue Ranger, Billy. Well, oh, the first Blue Ranger and Power Rangers, not the first Blue Ranger and Sentai, obviously, because without getting too much detail, Sentai's been going on since what? Wow, the 40 years now. I think 1975 was the first year of Super Sentai, which you know spawns Power Rangers. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Billy. Not a good impression. I know Billy did not sound like that. I just was kind of gave him this whole nerd look. And hey, look, you guys can see a little bit of my collection back there. There's some of my old Mattel figures and some of my Turtle figures because uh, I was just starting on the Nickelodeon Team of T collection. So I just want to point this out for the hell of it just because, man, I, I almost missed my old collection setup. I mean, I love that my collection's gotten so big over the last three, four years or so. But, man, because I wasn't really back into collecting at least until, like, well, I started getting in, like, 2008, but... God, I've gone so crazy since 2011 with how my collection looks now. And then, of course, it's more of a time. Triceratops. Oh, there we go. Of course, I've always liked this guy. The Red Ranger, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a time. That's not kind of crappy. And got the rest of my automorphers. I guess I'm just going to pull them all out. So anyways, guys, that's our quick little... And apologize for the lighting. It was dark, kind of cloudy. You know, I and I... Didn't really think about turning my lamp on, which, when I was back at my mom's house, and those of you who've probably been subscribed to me back since 2011, you probably noticed that my room usually kind of dark. The light in my room did not work, and it had nothing to do with changing a light bulb. I mean, the light fixture in my room did not work. It was broken, I never replaced it, but you know, hey, I'm in a house now where I have a working light, so no need for a lamp anymore. So I thought I'd point that out real quick. And another quick note. This is probably one of the first videos I ever got trolled on, too. I remember I had this fight with this troll. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I remember the troll kind of pointing this stuff out, like, hey, you redneck, you're in a dark room. Like, oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Trolls control all they want, and they can kiss my ass. Whatever. Review of our uh, auto morphin and kind of transforming yeah, um, so loose samurai. I do apologize for the, the video I'm getting the, dark I'm at a certain Revolution point. I'm Revolution Hell Cowboy. Thanks for watching. Rock on. And Isaac, your, your last words? Mm -hmm. Uh. Power Rangers, the getter, a yellow one. <laughs> okay, the reviews are just. Black one. All right, all right, thank you. All right. All right, later, guys. And. Oh, I cut him off. I'm sorry. Okay, so like I said, 
this one was not as good as the uh, previous one, just because we we spent only maybe less than a minute on the Blue Samurai Ranger, and I want to do a, a good proper comparison because that's what those reminds me of. Um, you know, of the Automorphin figures that came out when I was a kid. And those were ones I bought off eBay as my original ones. Well, a lot of them were broken or paint had been shipped off them. So those were newer ones I bought earlier in that year. And like I said, I've already reviewed them, so you can go back and look for that review if you want to, if you're a Power Rangers fan. So I guess I have enough time to maybe do reviews 3 and 4, I guess. I see 3s in my, in my uh, suggestions. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Maybe I'll move the camcorder. Let's see, there's episode 3. This is when I decide to actually face the camera at him, not so much myself. Just focus more on Isaac. Yeah, you will hear my voice in this one. Sorry, a hiccup. But anyways, uh, let's get into this. I hope I don't spend too much time. I don't want to go any longer than 30 minutes, so... Here's Iceman Reviews number 3. What is going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? I am Revolutionary Cowboy, and I am with John Cena, Basic 24, with Truth to the Troops Tire, but I'm not the... Or, could have been Basic 22. I don't honestly know what series that was from, because it had the uh, green attire that he was wearing, you know, back in um, 2012. Because uh, this is like a video, this is one of my uh, videos from 2013, um, early 2013, before I got my camcorder, so I just thought I'd point that out real quick. I want to review it. This guy here, my nephew, Isaac, aka the Eyes Man, is going to review it. So Isaac, tell everybody about this John Cena. And show everybody what he does and all his accessories. And get into the light a little. Yeah, because I don't have much. He was an army man, I wore <laughs> this. And for brush <laughs> <laughs> or but so he thinks. He can do so he this and this. He can even do this. So Isaac is doing a little bit of the articulation, so he's he's learning a little. So you gotta give my nephew some this. credit, you know. And by the time he's already five years old, so he, he yeah, show everybody a little bit better, Isaac. This. Well, he's not gonna show show everybody. I mean, this I mean, come on, what do you expect? He's a little this. kid. Yeah, of course you can't see the light is not good. Like I said, I was using a lamp. His face. Take the helmet off. And he was a born. And then he, and you gotta love his descriptions of this, man. Oh, God. God. I mean, the imagination of kids the these days. And when I was a kid, I had imagination like that, too. And then somebody stole it. <laughs> somebody stole and it. Him. Take off his vest. Yep. And then, once again, guys, these are the accessories from the uh, Tribute to the Troops ring. That's at a Kmart exclusive. Be and, careful taking that vest off, Isaac. Try to get it off. And he does a good job of taking it off, you know. Then, he puts as much care, because really that's his figure. I just, I, I held on to it for him. He, I, don't, I don't know if Isaac's into wrestling anymore. I'm pretty sure he is, but his. right now I have his figure somewhere in my room. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy. I could do it, but I'd have to put the iPod down. <laughs> yeah, and like I mentioned before, try to do a review with, with an iPod All in your right, hand is not off, fun. So yeah. Jacket. All right. He's, somebody stole his jacket. His vest, yeah. His army jacket, vest. So vest jacket, vest, same Cena. difference. Whatever. Look. You got he doesn't know any movement. better. Yep. You got the arm movement. So at this point, I'm kind of reviewing it a little bit. Nobody really did stole it. He he took a <laughs> yeah, he's um, trying to be G.I. Joe, but The Rock don't like that. The Rock says, I'm a G.I. Joe, you were in the Marine, and the Marine sucked. Well, let me uh, tell you something. I'm John Cena, and you can't see me. Yeah, we can't. Oh, Marine was an alright movie. I'll admit it wasn't the best movie, but all it was alright. Right. So I hope y'all like this little I review thought. of John Cena, Basic 24. With the or 22, troops I, don't, I don't honestly know. The vest, the flag, which also is the same flag that was included with the Legends Hacks under Duggan, and Army Hell, which can actually go with any figure. You know, it's because it came with the tribute to the troop ring, which is right up here to show you guys real quick. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay, hold on, guys. Nephew. I wanted to at least show you guys a little bit of my collection, so I'm sorry. And I actually shook the tripod out a little bit. So let's go back a little. Ring, which is right up here to show you. So there is my at the time small loose collection, and you'll see a few men on card figures. My collection was pretty small at the time, so I thought I I, I I don't know I like my collection now. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad I've had so much, but man, 
where I started at, I mean, you can see I have some defined moments figures. I know you can't see every figure. I know there's some elites, some basics in that ring. You can see, like, a Kevin Nash back there. It's a Rose Clay. I mean, and there's some figures that I don't have anymore that I've since maybe sold, but I still have the majority of my collection. Guys, real quick. And this scene, of course, belongs to my nephew. The yeah, accessories are as I mentioned before. As I let my nephew keep his figure over here. I just display them on him. Yeah. So anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about this review. I mean, it, it, it's just a fun review. It's not really anything serious. I'll try to do some serious reviews here in the future. And, of course, I kind of have. Just fun, you know, have my nephew here. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to try to do another review after this one. Yeah, we do. As always, feel free to rate this video, comment on it. And if you want to see more reviews, whether it's ones by me or my nephew, or just random toy bills, make sure to subscribe. I'm Real Shell Cowboy. This is the Iceman. And he's John Cena. Rock on. Keep collecting. Yeah, and you can see me. <laughs> All right. Aww. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, man. Like I said, I love my nephew. He, and I can't wait to see him in the holidays. I mean, so that one it was a little longer than the, the previous ones. And I thought it was it was better, you know, lighting-wise. And the fact that Isaac was able to kind of just show a little bit of the articulation. I kind of helped him a little bit. So, um, and these were, the this next review was done the same night. Because Eisman 1 and 2 were done on the same day, in tw like sometime in, tw I think, of September of 2012. I can't remember. And these were done, like, in, these two right here were done in February of 2013. Maybe January. It was around the time we had a big snowstorm here where I lived. So, um, I, man, it feels like an eternity the way it feels when I watch these old videos. But, um, so, yeah, um, I guess I'm not going too long this commentary. So, we're going to go into the last video, Eisman Reviews number 4. Which is a uh, an elite 18 Sincara, which I got for Christmas. I still have it with me because I held on to it for him, you know, because he was young at the time. I didn't want anything to happen to his Sincara, you know. Obviously now I think I I'm I think he'll do a better job of taking care of his figures now that he's older. He has a little brother though, believe it or not. Um, that I'm not gonna say too much about because it, it's not. I only have my one nephew, one my one niece, um, because uh, my sister's ex got off another woman, and, you know. Okay, I'm I'm rambling on. You guys don't care about that. I just, I don't. I'm sorry. I just I'd mention that real quick. Hey everyone, how's it going? Revolutionary Cowboy here, and I'm back with my nephew Isaac, aka the Iron uh, Man. Isaac looks very and enthusiastic. He right now. And kind of me are gonna review this figure he has right here. Uh, Isaac, put it back up. This is WWE Mattel. Elite. So it, here's the thing. Isaac's being quiet. So I told him, you know, hey dude, I want to do the intro. Yeah, I felt bad because you know. I, I don't want to start talking. He starts talking over me, you know, but... And it's not me trying to be mean. I was just trying to make their view look professional, but... You know, when you're working with a little kid, you know, he's going to say what he wants. He's not going to go by a script or anything. So, once again, don't think I was trying to be mean to Isaac. I was just trying to, you know, get the stuff he's not going to be able to say all the way. Because he's not going to go into detail of what series the figure's from, you know. When it, what year it came out. What company it's made by. He's probably not even going to really say the name right, but but still, after that, and, you know, I let him kind of do the rest, and I held him out all the way, so, yeah, we'll get back into the review. Series 18, Sin Cara, Isaac, tell him about the figure. He's been born in two, two weeks. No one knows his body. <laughs> Just tell him about the figure. I'm sorry, guys. Once again, I don't know why I was kind of, why I was being too hard on my nephew. I mean, he's a little kid. Pause and pause and pause. <laughs> um, he's a wrestler guy. He's a wrestler guy. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> he can fight. Okay, so the jacket. Yep. Take it off of him. Take it off of him now. I said take yes. the jacket off. Oh come on, REC, stop rushing, Isaac. Asha. He's just a kid. He's he's not gonna do things like you want him to do. Oh boy, Mattel Here makes these hard to take off. Not really. Why do you I mean, use cloth Mattel, not plastic. Make it easy for kids to take off. Well, keep in mind, Isaac was five years old. I'm sure a lot of little kids have problems taking this stuff off. Hell, even I could sometimes have trouble taking the the plastic, you know, accessories off figures. Hell, plastic trench coats. Have you ever tried to get a trench coat off, like say, an Elite Series Edge? Or Undertaker, it's a pain in the butt. 
But at the same time, I can understand that Mattel's not going to spend a lot of money on cloth when they got to save all the cloth for their, you know, Barbie line, which has been going on for, God, what, 60 years? Or, well, maybe 50 years. I don't know how long Barbie and Hot Wheels have been going on, but well, I think they've both been going on since the, since the 60s, but... So, obviously, to save money, Mattel's not going to make every single figure come with a cloth accessory. I mean, and it's understandable with most figures. Except for the ones that come with the t-shirts that look like they're coming with a football jersey or, you know, like like football padding. I, I, don't, I don't like those. Like, say, the Ringside Collectibles exclusive CM Punk with the ECW, you know, belt. That one came with a shirt that looked like football armor. But, I digress. Uh... Once again, I just point these things out in the video just because, I don't know, I just just little things I like to kind of say, you know, I mean, it's my opinion, and everybody has their own opinions, I guess. <laughs> Alright, show everybody how he moves. Show him the articulation, which, you know, you got the nice little ab crunch here. Yeah. Yeah. You do this, 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 and then and of course, I it's not going to really give you guys a, a, a detailed, you know, look at the figure, you know, obviously. And, right. and once again, the lighting's, you know, bad, obviously. I mean, he does it the best he can. He's been watching some reviews with me, so he kind of got the idea of how, how this kind of works. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. I'm trying my best right, to rush him, I get him. No, he... Alright, so, oh of course, I got this... Friday Once again, guys, I'm time. sorry. I am sorry, guys, that I was being a little hard on my nephew. Uh, the same kind of packaging that Wade Barrett and Archer come in. Yeah, my so small elite features. collection at the time. And here's Sin Cara. Mm -hmm. And this is his face, or faceless, because he doesn't want to show it. Show your face! <laughs> <laughs> Random comment. Um, I want to tell you something. John Cena does a... Belonged to G.I. Uh, of course, my nephew's talking about our last review. We the people! We the people! It's you, Show dude. your face, illegal! <laughs> I'm Jack Swagger! No! Hey, it's not about you, Jack Swagger. Get out of here. <laughs> Go get in a car and lie up a doobie or something. That was random. Okay, that reference, if you guys don't remember, Jack Swagger, apparently, you know, this is after he got arrested with having marijuana and all that. So that's the reference, and that was an old uh, Jack Pacific um, Jack Swagger figure that I had at the time. So, uh, and this was about around the time that Jack Swagger was doing the whole thing with him and Zeb Coulter, going after illegal immigrants. So that's so. Hopefully, you guys got the reference. If not, I apologize. I thought I'd bring that up real quick. <laughs> All right. Anyways, and that I was a very goofy laugh. That wasn't even really trying to laugh. I don't. That was. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, this was a different time for me. So, um, a lot of stress back then, so... If I said stuff that just didn't sound right, once again, I was not thinking straight. And I was trying to have fun with my nephew, but, you know... I don't know, trying to maybe make the video more professional than it really was. I don't have Del Rio, so that would work better with Del Rio. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little somewhat review. Yeah. Somewhat and review. <laughs> guess what? I don't like the... Okay. John Cena that's... because... All right, blocked, that's, that's enough. That's enough. All right, guys. As <laughs> oh, come on, RC. Stop being so mean to your nephew. Right for more. As always, I'm Rebel Sean Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting. What? Anything to say, Sankara? No. Or C. No, C. No, C. Okay, that's enough for now. <laughs> All right. So, not one of my better videos with my nephew. I mean, it was all in good fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I was maybe expecting too much out of my nephew because I wanted to make a review, you know, try to teach him the ropes about reviewing. And, you know, and I'm no professional at reviews. I still make my mistakes in my, you know, reviews. Which, by the way, in future commentaries, you will see some old reviews of mine that were... You know, you thought that maybe these weren't probably the best, you know, which, you know, and and not because of my nephew, you know, keep in mind, you know, he's a little kid, he's not going to get everything right. I think it's more of me just screwing up trying to, trying to, you know, rush the review along when I, you know, and I realize, you know, he's not getting right, you know, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to help him out, um, you know, and, I, and you know, if I do bring back this uh, you know, review series with my nephew if I'm able to have him come over because he's in school now. He has to, you know, 
stay to a routine. I work at night, so obviously I don't get to see my nephew except maybe if I'm off on a Sunday, which is my only day off from work. So it's kind of hard to really make time to have my nephew over at my house, and I don't always go over to his house. You know, he doesn't look too far from where I live, but I just don't always feel like going over there. Um, so I know I rambled on a little bit, but I just thought I'd get that out of the way real quick. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little um, look back at my uh, Eyes Man reviews. By the way, um, <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have been probably stare at this thing for the longest time. I, you know how YouTube's got these recommendations for stuff you've watched recently. I thought I'd point that out. I can't, I can't, I can't, I gotta stop looking at that. Alright, I'm gonna hit this real quick. That's gonna get on my nerves. But anyways, yeah, I guess that, this didn't take too long. I went 30 minutes. Going a little over, but, yeah, I mean, all the videos, you know, combined, I guess, were maybe, probably much shorter than this commentary. But, I, I mean, I had to pause at certain points, so, you know, you wouldn't miss some my nephew said, and I try my best not to talk over my nephew without pausing, but, yeah, oh well, I mean, like I said, I hope to bring these videos back at some point, because I know my nephew will get some stuff from Christmas from me, so maybe we'll do some reviews, and I promise, I will not be so hard on my nephew, I'll let him do his thing, you know, he's not going to get everything right, and hey, maybe I might do some of my niece, because I got my niece some gifts too, which, I just got my nephew and niece a couple of turtle figures, so, because I know my niece always loved playing with my uh, nephew's figures sometimes, you know, and she like play with mine too, whatever. I let Isaac and her come in my room and um, play with my toys that I, you know, had no problem with them touching that, you know, because they already maybe were fragile. Well, not too fragile. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, guys. I'm just, I'm speaking at random. Oh, oh well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. i sorry if I rambled on too much. And sorry, you know, I mean, I try my best not to skip ahead as much. I mean, because these videos were short anyway. And I kind of show you guys my uh, my old bedroom before I moved to the place I'm at now, which, God, I mean, how my collection was so small back then. Now it's much bigger, and I can't even display everything anymore. But oh well, I still enjoy collecting, and I'm hoping that that's something my nephew will, you know, enjoy too, you know. I hope he, he's more of a collector himself, and, you know. God, I gotta see his toy collection one of these days, see what he's got. Alright, so I'm done talking. Um, stay tuned for another commentary, which I'm going to take a couple days off, maybe a day or two, depending on how long my next commentary takes, because I'm probably going to do another commentary involving my nephew, because I know there's a few more videos on my account that have my nephew in them, and then maybe I'll get to some other commentaries much later. You know, Christmas is coming up, so obviously these videos, will be, these next two commentaries will probably be done before Christmas, maybe on Christmas Eve, maybe the latest, and then after that I'll do some more commentaries, be you know, either before the end of this month slash year or sometime again January. Alright, well, that's it. As always, thanks for watching, rock on, and keep collecting.